Hello, and welcome back to this blind playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Today, we start out in the friendly wasteland town of Sloan, before journeying on to introduce ourselves to the Brotherhood of Steel. What history and backstory will we find in the bunker, along with Eddie and Veronica? Let's find out. Uh, let's see if we can go this way. Because I'd love to... There's like another spot on the map that we haven't reached yet. I'd love to find that one while we're at it. Oh god, who are you shooting? An ant or something? Okay, this little shanty town over here? I think this is it. This is the place on the map that maybe I was trying to connect with. Hello! Hold up! There are death claws <gasps> all over the damn place north of here. Oh no! I turned back. If I, I don't want to go there. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. So far, we're at level 27. We haven't encountered a death claw yet, and I'm terrified. <laughs> okay, I could take care of your death claw problem. Really, I could. I guess. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death claws are tough bastards, but oh, you might be even tougher. Way? Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against death claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. Golly, to do the job right, you've got ye. to get rid of the pack leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Should run the rest of them off. Alpha male. <laughs> Tell me more about the powder cleaners. There are a bunch of escape cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. You had problems with death claws before? Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Okay, let's talk about something else. Okay. What is this place? This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. Ah, the actual Sloan. quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is Love an NCR it. operation. We make cement for the NCR Wait. using the limestone we oh. dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay is good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. Yeah, paper money kind of sucks. I don't think you can use it for anything. Maybe. Do some vendors take NCR cash? It doesn't seem like even NCR people do. Am I wrong? Okay, what does the NCR need with cement? It all gets what shipped by rail question. over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR Everybody is probably building cement. fortifications with it all. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just suddenly sounded like I'm a part of big cement, but okay. <laughs> okay, what is a drag line? It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Uh, you don't get paid in caps? No. Nope. Oh, it sucks, man. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money. Just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't Missing exactly mesh. fair. Yeah, Ricky has some tall For tales. example, a yeah, hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly crap. half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Chomps. What can you tell me about New Vegas? I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. Never happens. All right, bye. If you insist on going north, no. Okay, I won't. Okay, geez. Goodbye. Let's see. I just want to see if there's anybody the else I need the money. over here that I could talk I hope they don't to. Close the or I I'll just go inside their buildings. Quarry worker. I wonder if... um. Oh, God. Our sky crack is showing. Oh, good thing I walked in here, because otherwise I guess I wouldn't have found this place. Wow, they have snuffle. Oh, oh, snuffles. What have you got for me, boy? Oh, man. Oh, hey. 
Snuffles is pretty freaky. Let's check out what Snuffles is up to then. Okay, hmm. Your leg appears to be injured. I don't know how we figured that out. Woof. Medicine 30, clean the wound with antibiotics and expertly bind Snuffles' injured leg. Oh, we're playing vet. <laughs> oh, he's so scary looking. How's it going? Snuffle. Oh, that's very sweet. Goodbye. Bye bye. I've heard Corey the worker. Planning to unleash Does anyone? Their best men against us. Does he have like an owner or something? Cory worker? No. Oh, that was a peppy song playing in there. Uh, chomps. Okay, we just met you. Anybody else in here? Nope. Nope. Anyone up here? Ooh, a safe that we're not gonna pick, I guess. Cause I don't wanna lose any karma. That would be terrible. Oh, hey! I didn't mean to come in here. Sorry, I'll be leaving. Snuffles, you didn't see that. Mess hall. Oh, hey! Let Jazz. me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, anything that wasn't made 200 years ago? Uh, why do you ask? We'll just be diplomatic I've got this recipe it. for a Deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, oh, I need a Deathclaw death claw egg. Kinda obvious, Naturally. I suppose. Uh, where did you come up with this recipe? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California, in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female Deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Zoom Aunt Rose had recipe. a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. We all At know least, where it really came from. She did until some stranger came along and killed the Deathclaw, shot it right in the eye. Okay, where can I find the Deathclaw egg? The quarry just north of here is full of Deathclaws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a Deathclaw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. What? Ew. <laughs> what are you offering in exchange for this I don't have much life? in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. <laughs> wow, that sounds like an offer I can't refuse. You don't look like a quarry worker. You cutie. Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I will get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the strip unless you're rich. That is true. Are you from California? Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or hmm. farms. But now there's taxes California and laws and other great. things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, What's wrong but with it's taxes all very boring. So, well, taxes, I came but... out east, towards the frontier. Okay, mm let's talk about something else. Alright. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Um, sure. Sure thing. She seems like... I don't know, the way that she's talking... I don't know if anyone else is hearing this, but I'm hearing suspiciousness. She just seems... I don't know. Let's sell this trooper hat too, because I have my combat hat. That, yeah, okay. Right, this doesn't give me anything important. Goodbye. Thanks. Mm, bye. All right then. Also, I went to a bar this weekend that, it ended up being kind of a surprise, like a cute surprise. Um. Okay, so I guess, is there a road this way? Like, it kind of looked like a, uh, I don't know, like a weird towny bar. Um, but then when you, should I walk this way? Uh-oh. I think this is maybe a mistake. Um. They had this system where um, instead of like a jukebox or something, you could actually play records. 
Which was great for a bunch of trunk people. It was this bunch of millennials who had never used a record player before, but whatever. Um, ah, okay, there's a lot of scorpions here. Um, but yeah, it was so fun. I don't know, it, it was just like a really cool bar, like where there was no TVs, there was like really, it had such a nice, such nice lighting and everything, and then you got to go play like your little records or whatever. Hey! Oh god. Do not perceive me. And I ended up playing a bunch of those, uh... Wait, danger, keep out? No entry? No! 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 <laughs> okay, that's it. We're going back to, uh, here? Here. We'll walk from here. That's Hi there. My name is April Mortimer. I monitored a communication okay. earlier <laughs> between you me. and someone with the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm with the followers of the Apocalypse. We're much more liberal about the sharing of technology than those Brotherhood people. Bring your robot to us. We'll see that whatever information it may have on it is used for the greater good. Wow. Well, can we meet the Brotherhood first and then decide? Oh. Ban the bomb. Bully rules. You suck. Steve was here. Peace, love. All war is the bomb. <laughs> Give peace a chance. Can, oh, I can just walk in. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even need Veronica. I don't know. I mean, I like the followers of the apocalypse. We have more of a rapport with them. I hope I don't have to just hand over Eddie and then I just don't get to ever interact with Eddie, my love, ever again. I laugh at the Spotify commercials that say, you could have played an 8-track tape if you knew what an 8-track tape looked like. I don't know if I know what an 8-track tape looks like. Does it, does it just look like a regular tape? Because I know what a tape is. I used to, um, listen to... I like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. Oh. I'm easy on the agave sauce this time. Oh, man, Veronica's we up in here making jokes. Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. Sake. Oh, dang, Opening I'm scared up. of her. Welcome back, Veronica. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around. Because I used to listen to and these I can't say I'm too on happy about having an outsider were... waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, read by I'm very inclined to cut you like, a little slack. Just behave reader. yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the okay. Eller's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. I don't know, let's just go in here, I guess. How may I assist you? Okay, here we go. Brotherhood scribe, brotherhood scribe, brotherhood scribe. Hello, hello, outsider. Say it enough and it doesn't sound like a real word anymore. You're the one with that Lorenzo. robot. Lorenzo. I was hoping you'd bring him my way. Pretty impressive piece of hardware. I can't say that I've seen anything quite like him before. I've heard some information from its logs. Sounds like it's carrying some enclave data. Really? What kind of logs? What kind of data does he have on it? What? I thought this was, I thought this was their robot. Okay, the logs spoke about enclave data frame research and Poseidon energy research. Did, did you say Poseidon energy? I've been researching some Poseidon projects here. Do you think you could leave your robot with me for a few days? I have some materials that I can use to upgrade his armor while he's here. Okay, you can have Eddie. This is excellent news. I'll send him back to you soon. I mean, he seems kind of trustworthy. I don't know. You've lost Eddie's en enhanced sensors perk. Oh, he turned... Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, steel scribe. Hmm. 
What is that sound? There have been reports that the NCR is moving more and more troops into Sounds the like area. some crazy breathing or something. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not sure what to do now. Did we... I'm sure that there's other people to talk to in here. Uh, I guess let's go exploring. This is definitely kind of a maze. Ooh, yellow hair. Yeah? Apprentice Watkins. Okay, what's with all the computers? It's our virtual reality training hall. What's with all these computers? We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Okay, you said anymore before. Did the Brotherhood used to go out more? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that. Especially Oops. with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Okay. Uh, shouldn't you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart How quickly realized I? my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training. I'm serving just a lowly, as his assistant. Uh, I miss hanging out with the other career? students all I don't the know time. What VR means. But at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Tell me about yourself. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. Uh, are your parents somewhere, little Goyle? They both died at Helios 1. Oh, the others were always like a family to me before that. But afterward, they became my family in truth. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry. Tell me about yourself. Well, like just about... So who did you take after more, your mom or your dad? I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. Yeah, that if makes I had a lot choose, of sense. I really don't know which I'd pick. That's just, a question I'm I've been just asked like a really lot lately. It's questions. something I have I to know. decide for myself soon. Courier just has all the right questions. Okay, what do you mean, decide for yourself? I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became well, eligible for journeyman the most beautiful status. beautiful questions. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights or the Scribes? Hmm. Tell me about the Knights. Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by knights. Did we have one more thing to talk to her about? No, I guess not. Time for me to go. Later. Whoa, her voice changed. Oh. Yeah? She's like, yeah. Bye. Hi, I'm a... Oh. <laughs> Hello, outsider. Okay. Hi. Yes, what is it? Wow, he is a real egghead. Oh my god. Who are you? Ah, the Outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am Head Scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Is there anybody else I could kind of, like, check in with and say hi to? There has to be someone. He sort of seems like the person in charge, well, Head Scribe. To, Hello? I heard some special squad Brother rangers subscribe. on its way to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is finally getting about fighting the Legion. <laughs> uh, Scribe Isbin? Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Oh, I'm sure it is. Something wrong? I've had better. I have to be going. Uh, let's just say what's wrong. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running. But accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Need any help? I could use some assistance, sure, but I highly doubt you have the technical background I to help us deal with this yeah, virus. Yeah, a virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing his data. I think my data. science is like 80, so I'm pretty sure I can like help out. Anything I can do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. What? We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. Wow, that sounds um, really dumb. Science 70, can the virus files be partitioned so read access is only provided by the kernel administrator? What? No, that... that's brilliant. It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular no, terminal. No, that's brilliant. Even when the other... Did you want to try isolating the virus? Sure. Yes. All right, I'll monitor when it jumps. 
When I give the signal, start checking terminals. You're, You're not gonna like say Mr. Turn the power back robots on, are, are you? now using tech we've never heard of. We need to send a team up there soon. Our instruments show some impressive power fluctuations coming from across the river. What's going on? Do I have to just wait for the him? virus just jumped? Find which terminals it went to. Probably these three, right? Partition the virus. Check the partition. Partition confirmed. Hello. Access database. Partition the virus. Check. Partition confirmed. And partition the virus. Gosh, this is kind of a silly. <laughs> okay. Partition confirmed. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. We got it. The virus has been purged. You Let actually go. did it. If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm really? glad to be wrong for once. Rude. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, what kind of information is in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Okay. How do I get access to more topics? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's been... aegis, since they'd constitute a security better. risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Okay, fine. I need to get going. Bye. Mm, bye. Can I... Let's just see if we get any new things. No, what? Oh, wait, there it is. Elder dismissal uh, topic. Let's read version one. Let it be recorded that on this day, Raymond Lorne was dismissed from his post as elder for committing the crime of murder. Brother Lorne was known to have hostile feelings towards the vic victim, senior scribe Ritter. The guilty party insisted that Ritter's death was a tragic case of friendly fire. The bunker was under attack at the time, but the tribunal felt they could not let him persist as elder with such suspicion hanging over him. Incident 2. Be it known that from this day, Kenneth Jones shall no longer bear the title of Elder. Brother Jones has willfully gone against the chain that binds and has been forced to step down. Head Paladin Lindquist succeeds him as Elder. I don't know if I understand why that person was dismissed. Led the record show that I have stood witness to the dismissal of David James from the post of Elder. Brother James was charged with destroying an unknown device recovered from a recent expedition. The purpose and function of the device remain unknown. And Brother James has thus far proven unwilling to discuss the matter with anyone. I don't know, those I guess seem pretty trivial? I mean, the first one, murder. They couldn't prove that it was him. The second one, I have no idea why the guy was dismissed. And then the third one for destroying a piece of... Um... Oh, okay, here, now we can ask Paladin Ramos about this stuff. Now, on to other things. I wonder if I can find my hey. way back up to the surface and like, uh, you know, maybe take the other direction that we were supposed to. Oh God, I'm back here again. Hey, will you talk to me now that I fix your freaking terminals? Yes, what is it? Nothing, I guess. Bye. He's just a jerk is his service, his, his purpose in this game just to make us feel like shit. Oh yeah, that's right, we came from this way. Mm. Okay, let's just go in here. Did I go this way already? Maze oh maze. Whoa. Here we are. You, can I talk to you? No, okay. Well, 
Oh, and I can't talk to Veronica either. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Damn. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll try and talk to him about this stuff. Um, this drama that we just witnessed. Oh, Diogo, hey, how are you? Uh, hi, Minx. Brotherhood Bunker? Activate self-destruct system. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. We're gonna When Paladin blow Ramos this informed me that Veronica stand. was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. Okay. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed How to leave here. This? Though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? How old is this, pers this person supposed to be? Like, it says elder. Is he supposed to be, like, in his 60s? Because he looks like he's, like, 30. I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Okay, I can do that. Uh, I can begin looking immediately. I think I already found one of your patrols. Both paladins were dead. Have I already found them? While that is disheartening news, there remains hope that the other two patrols may still be found alive. Okay, I'll begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Yeah, because oh, I think that's where we thing. found the The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding um, of the bunker prevents us from actively the tracking them. For but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order yes, that you be sir. given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have you scavenged over the it. years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully okay. some of what's available will prove useful to you. Tell me about the lockdown? It's a protective measure that was enacted after our defeat at Helios. The NCR was hot on our heels, and we wouldn't have survived another encounter. What is that crazy sandstorm on the surface? That is this base's defensive system. It serves as camouflage and masks all entry and exit from the bunker. We use it to hide our patrols and supply runners. Though Maybe we still we send such out at night to be extra safe. See you later. Bye. I'd oh. slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Oh, okay. Plus, he used Finally, to make excuses to it. get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Do you think El the elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to okay, it, I guess he's he got our best he's interest at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. Okay, so what is it you're trying to accomplish exactly? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around oh, freely. Oh no, Harden! Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what really? the Elder talked to you about, <laughs> but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? No, don't talk to me! You conspirator. 
Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Why should I trust you? Let's ask Why Richard should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us and choosing whom to trust for yourself. Okay, fine. So are you willing to listen? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Is that true? We can't, like, change the Elder's mind, maybe? I think that we do have to hear what they both have to say, but I'm kind of hopeful that, like, it seems like Veronica has a pretty good rapport with the Elder. I would love to see how that kind of plays out. Mm. What about Veronica? She seems to come and go as she pleases. Veronica's a special case. She goes she handles where she the procurement of supply. Where she goes. If we didn't let her and those like her back in, we'd all starve. If the elder could ah. manage it, he'd shut them out as well, and all in the name of security, which is why we need to replace him. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. Uh, what do I get out of helping you? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that I happens, power? it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. That's literally never something good enough. I wanted. Uh, I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me. Abreast? And we'll move from I've there. I've never heard of that before. Keep me abreast of this? them. Veronica brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? Vocabulary. The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Who are you? Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. And whatever. Wait, Pardon? what's happening? I hope you've been practicing Sorry the drills, that. Veronica. Just because I love them? It's dangerous some outside. of them are assholes. What was that? Oh, that was awkward. Oh, well, could I go this way? I haven't been downstairs. Hmm, anything in here? A classroom? Are there kids here? <gasps> I love the children's. Poignant nuts? You oh, no, outside. you're just... You're the just principles a... of fusion are relatively simple. <sighs> this reminds me of... Um, Raised by Wolves. That's a TV show that I'm watching right now. They, they're like in an atheist bunker and they're, well, okay, no one else has watched that show. I shouldn't bring it up. <laughs> is this a door? Oh, it is. What the hell? What the hell? What are all these? Oh, a locked terminal? Am I gonna get in trouble if I look at this? Is this it? Am I supposed to look at this? No? Okay, I guess we won't look at it. For now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. This kind of just looks like everyone's bedrooms that I'm invading. Oops. Oh, did we already go in here? Yeah, we did. Oh, uh, hello? Initiate Sorry, Stanton? Sorry, I'm a little busy here, if you'll excuse me. That's weird. You're, you have Sorry, a unique but name, a but you're busy? Here, you what are you busy me. doing? There's three of you. Are you trying to change the light bulbs on these or something? 
Is it nighttime? I don't understand. <laughs> These Brotherhood people are a confusing bunch. Oh my god. My light was on. It's so dark. What the hell? Oh, hey. Primos? Something I can help you with? I think so. Uh, potentially? No? Eh, wait. Bye. <laughs> okay, I guess I need to get going. God damn it, I thought that he was supposed to help me with something. Uh, return to- Oh, Harden! Fuck. Harden. Help Paladin, uh, the head Paladin Harden find a way to oust- Okay, we're not doing those things, so... I don't know if I should really go to him about the chain that binds. Find the missing Brotherhood patrol at Black Mountain and retrieve their missing hollow tapes. Okay, let's just do that. So it's fine that we were finding our way out. I like the lighting in here. Whoa! Oh, she's just standing on that. Okay. <laughs> let's just head out and solve this here mystery. Um. Oh, the Helios One Air Force Base. Or Nellis, whoops, Nellis Air Force Base. Uh, oh God. I think I see someone over there. Is it a bad guy? Um, I can't tell. <laughs> okay, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. Let's just wait a hot sec. Okay. They are where? Over here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm by the boomers. Oh no. Oh no. The boomers got them. Oh, can I? I can't listen to things straight out of a... Oh, can You're you making me carry stuff? the heavy stuff, aren't you? That's something good for me? <gasps> Is it a dress? No. It's power arm. Oh, I gotta get her that dress. Where do I find a dress? Does she have a specific quest dress that I'm meant to find for her? Black Mountain? Oh, we haven't been there yet. All right, friend, before I send you to the next video in this series, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't yet, subscribe or check out some of my other socials. I'm on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and I'd love to see you there too. Until next time.